always let you go one night. Today, everybody, this is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. Listen to this music. Don't that sound epic or what? Of Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I really appreciate that since we're in World 7 and this is a very big world. It's actually called World Castle, but I prefer calling it World 7 because it is the 7th world in the game. But we're going to go on to 7-1, which is Fort Fire Bros. Let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Do you like lava levels in video games? Yes or no? If yes, which one's your favorite and least favorite? Me? We know me. I absolutely love lava levels in video games. I love them so much. I love lava levels so much in video games. Can I think they're epic? I love lava levels so much. I love lava. I love lava levels so much. So before we grab the checkpoint, we're actually gonna grab the second green star. So yeah, the time it just right. There we go. That's how it's done. It is a little bit tricky to do, but that's how you do it. Because I'm just playing through this like normal. I'm just playing through this like normal. Just doing what we know. Simple Mario tactics. Okay, so we're gonna jump on this fire, bro. What? I can't do anything about it now. There we go! There we go. <laughs> we about died. We did not die, thank goodness. The lava levels I really like. Let's talk about the ones I really like. I love Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. I love Melty Monster Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And there's some lava levels in Super Mario 3 World I really like that you're going to see me play. And I really like, um... I think it's, um... Re Re Magma River Cruise from New Super Mario Bros. You? Hmm... I love volcano levels. I love lava levels so much. We're gonna do World 7-2. Switch back, Rogans. I'm a... Okay. We're gonna be a lot more careful in this levels because... Give me that mushroom. There we go, that was easy. Give me the fire flower, because we need a fire flower to get some of the green stars here. I don't know why you collect star coins in Super Mario 30 Land and then in the 30 World you collect, you collect green stars. I don't know why. I didn't create, I did not create the game by any means. I would not know why you collect this or why you don't collect that, or I would not know. Alright, that's your first green star. Because you pretty much need the fire flower to get the green stars in this level. And I think there's another fire flower here. Yes, there is. And there's a second green star here. Okay, we have, I think... 
one more green star left to get. I hate these guys. I hate those guys so much. Okay, I'm lighting the torches because I'm assuming that's what you have to do. I could be wrong, but... I think the stamp's over here. Um... Watch this! That was risky. Gosh! Alright. Those enemies are gone now since... Uh... Okay, so... I think the last green star is in here. There we go. That's like a boss. We have to get the top of the flight pole. If we don't, we're screwed. Let's not screw up. We got the top! Yes! We're on top of it! <sighs> we're on top of it today. So... This music just sounds so epic. I do wonder where the same house of World 7 is. I know it's somewhere, but we'll find it eventually, don't worry. No worries. I'm just looking around. We did this level, we done this level, so now we're gonna go ahead and do Red Hot Run. This level requires precision in the jumps you do. So I might have to concentrate to this level. Cause this requires precision. Oh, you don't have to backtrack for anything. So I was just wondering if we did or not, but we might as well start over since we did that since it wasted a couple seconds. Cause I want to make sure I move on the first frame possible. Uh, I took the wrong way, so because I didn't remember where the first green star was, my bad. This level is pretty challenging. It's known for being quite a challenge. I swear, this has to be the most difficult 3D Mario game I've played. It just has to be. It just feels that way. That this has to be the most difficult 3D Mario game I've played. Because this game is pretty difficult in some areas. I mean, some more Sunshine's also kind of difficult. Sunshine's also kind of difficult. But this one's pretty difficult in some areas. Okay, so if you go down here, there's really nothing special down here. Okay, we need to get the stamp as well as the other green stars. Are you kidding me? There are no checkpoints on this level and you have to do it flawlessly. I really hate this level a lot. Mm. Hopefully I don't die too many times around here, because it's very, very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Mm. I've mentioned several times, this has to be the most difficult 30 Mario game I've played. But I kind of dreaded it a little bit. 
If I'm able to do it without too many tries. I bet the Tanuki, I bet it might be easier with the Tanuki suit. <sighs> oh, that's the same house. There we go. Let's go to the same house real quick. Excuse me. If you watch my Super Mario Galaxy playthrough, you'll see how easy that game is in comparison to this game. Because that game's a lot easier than this game. You'll see how easy it is in comparison to this game. Bowling Blue Bully Belt. Here we go. This level's not too bad. This level's not too hard. Because World 7 is a fairly easy world because... Because this world is one of the easiest worlds in the game, hands down. I thought they'd give a Tanuki suit or something. If they gave a Tanuki suit, it would make it a lot easier, definitely. Okay. Okay. There we go. See, this level's not that difficult. It's not that hard, you just have to do that. Just ain't that hard. The fire flower really helps right there. I was doing a roll jump like that, just in case you did not know, I just wanted to show it off real quick. Listen to this music, I love the music on this level. Cause I think it's epic. The last green star is right here. Not too bad, see? Way too hard, see? When we get to the special worlds, that's where the game gets really, really difficult. I'm not gonna lie, special worlds are so difficult in this game. I think it's gonna get that difficult later on to this game, when, back when I first had this game. When I first had this game, I had no idea if it would get that difficult or not. Um, but we know this game's pretty difficult in some areas. <sighs> there we go! I have two blockades. We're done with that level, so I want to open up this pipe. Here it is. Fire Bros Hideout number four, which is World 7-C. We'll go ahead and get it out of the way. There we go. We did it. <laughs> so 
So that level is done. Okay, I'm going to cut, and I'm going to see you guys when I have a cat suit so I can do the blockades. Alright guys, I'm back. So now we're going to do Broder Blockade is back, which is 7-A. And I have two cat suits because this one is pretty difficult. I'm not going to lie, this one's kind of difficult. It's like the World 4 Castle boss, except you have two new enemies. That's the thing about this that's really difficult. This is really difficult. Oh, we lost our cat suit, so we're just gonna be careful. There's why this is more difficult than the World 4 Castle bosses because they add two enemies on this. And it's known for being quite a challenge. This boss is known for being quite challenging. And we defeated him. See, it, that's how many hits it took to defeat. That's how many hits he took. Alright, now we're going to go on to six dash B, I mean seven dash B, I, I'm sorry, seven dash B, which is another kick the can. I used to call this kick the can ever since I was little when I played this game. Because I played this game a lot, because... I love how this boss is also in Bowser's Fury. I love that. So, we have to do this and then defeat him. And he's down. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.